but it, but it has a unique history all on its own, New Brighton. I mean, it was a borough up until 1940, early 1940s, a New Brighton borough amalgamated with the city of Christchurch. And it still has that borough thing. It used to be, if you came, once you came over the bridge, you were in a different, you were in another town. I think it's true to say that New Brighton has always been different from other parts of Christchurch. It's had its own identity, partly because it was a, a separate borough council until 1941. And so even after it lost its independent status as a local authority, it still retained a special character. It retained its otherness. My name is Alan Coburn. I'm, I was born in 1949 and lived all my life here in New Brighton, either here in my current home or next door, so I haven't shifted very far. And my family um, were long-time business people here in the New Brighton district. There was a huge traffic problems coming in and out on a Saturday. We just couldn't, the shops couldn't cope and, uh, and the buzz was there. It was just, uh, it's just the place to be on a Saturday. It was like the main street of Rangiora or the main street of Ashburton. The main street of New Brighton was the main street. It was the hub of Christchurch and all the big companies, all the big shop leaders, um, Christchurch retailers, uh, Beef's, Mrs Pope, Whitcalls, a few others I can't recall, came down and established their branches in Brighton. They did a starve for the rest of the week, but on Saturday their business was booming, so the streets were crowded. Glassons and a branch of Millers and a branch of Farmers. Gracie's here, shoe shops here. There was a mitre ten. And of course there was a picture theatre down there which was great. Hallensteins and Glassons, there were music stores, outlets. And of course the banks were open. It, it was a busy, busy place and on a Saturday um, it was just wall-to-wall -wall traffic. You, you couldn't move because New Brighton had Saturday trading. It was the only um, place in the South Island basically was Saturday trading. And uh, it was a busy place with cars just, you know, one behind the other up and down the main street. It was always very difficult to get a parking place on a Saturday. Uh, before the mall went in, uh, Seaview Road was totally, totally crowded. It was a heyday. People, traffic would be banked up down Pages Road and all the all the, coming into New Brighton. The, the real hey, heyday was probably in the 1950s um, and the 1960s. But then there was such a, um, a push in the 80s to get for people to be open Saturdays. It was a big, big thing. And of course, it took away that unique atmosphere that New Brighton had. And even in the 90s, I remember it was the mall was starting to decline at that time. I think the opening in, in the early 80s of the Saturday shopping all around Christchurch and the malls, of course, Northlands, uh, Linwood, Rickerton. Principally, it was that Saturday shopping was introduced universally. And secondly, the, it had to compete with much bigger malls such as Eastgate and the Palms which really took its customer base. And so um, it was the, the client, I think, was, we can see, inevitable. And I'm sure it was about the 80s that it then became sort of universal that shops could open anywhere in New Zealand on a Saturday. A lot of the city pe firms that had branches out here closed their branches. They didn't want to be here. It, it was declining in the in the council. We the maintenance on the place wasn't being done. It was being left. The the lamp standards were rusting out. It was it was looking pretty bad. The shopping has has, has vanished. Um, I used to go as I say. I used to go to Gracie's. Gracie's, and I went to the farmers, and the farmers moved out. I used to go to um, Mitre Ten, but Mitre Ten have moved out. Um, no, for, for shopping, it's no longer. It's no longer a place one can get things. And of course the banks. I don't think there's any banks here now. They were the big things here. Westpac, ANZ, BNZ. The, the, the mall area, well, what we call the mall, the, the shopping area, commercial area, is, is just diabolical. And it only needs that area there to have a concentration on to tidy it up. The commercial area is what people 
see when they talk of New Brighton that's what they look at and it's and it's hideous it is just appalling depressing neglected New Brighton Mall is a bit sad not not so great I just can't understand the people of Christchurch whereas this area should be um, um, the place to be but it's not and I think it goes way back in time that that as I said, I always think snobbery is alive and well, and um, I notice that people know that when, when you're talking, you say that you live in New Brighton, they sort of look down and, oh, oh, do you really? You know, and they make some comment that is condescending or whatever. So I think Brighton gets tarnished far too regularly, and I have a, I have a very, very um, strong feeling on this. And I always say that snobbery is alive and well in the city of Christchurch and it doesn't matter who you are, what you are, it's what school you went to and what, what suburb you live in. So poor old Brighton has been tarnished for years and years and years. Are you married or do you live in New Brighton? Are you married or do you live in Brighton? Are you married or do you live in New Brighton? People would come up and say, oh, you know, oh, you're Alan, oh, are you married or do you live in New Brighton? He said, yeah, I just could not believe how intelligent and well-spoken and refined he was, considering he'd come from New Brighton. And that's what you have to put up with all the time. I mean, that, isn't that appalling? I find New Brighton people have got a chip on their shoulder. I was at a meeting a year or so ago where somebody got up and said, the council, city council has never done anything for New Brighton. I thought... Not the pier, not the mall, not the new library, not the new playground. <laughs> the saltwater pools weren't built then. It, it's, it's simply not true. We can't understand why this isn't the vibrant part of the city, where in every other country in the city in the world, the beachfront is the vibrant, vibrant place, and this is not. It's been the only city in the world the, 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 the place to live is out towards the airport and the place not to live is by the beach and it is stunning but it would be the best place to live in Christchurch the best place by far um, it offers a huge amount you know we've got the we've got the library and the pier which are, are quite stunning um, parts of that we've now got the, the playground and the new hot water pools you know we're going to have a new surf club we've got the hot pools, things are looking good. We've got the, the two new high schools out just out here at QE2, uh, the parklands. But until that, that commercial area gets sorted out, it, um, it tarnishes the image of New Brighton. There's a future waiting to happen, but whether it does or not, I don't know. And to be honest, I, it doesn't worry me now. I've just given up worrying about it because I like it here, I'm, I'm happy. Neighbours are all happy, we love being here. So I, I used to be involved in all sorts of things and I'm gradually pulling back. And I'm just enjoying um, living here, living, you know, enjoying the open space and the community. Great community, good people. Um, yeah, no, there's no future for me as I've got everything that I want and everything I've achieved, I've done, so I'm just going to sit back and enjoy living here. Mm. And 